You guys did it. I am back with my Lunarly box, okay? I did it. I stayed for another one. Here we are. So I said in my last Lunarly video, I was like, okay, like I'm not really vibing it so much, but let me stay subscribed because last month was the candle. This month will be the plant. So let me try the plant, see what happens. So I am excited to talk to you guys about this. I did already open it. I was very excited when it came yesterday. I was very anxious. So um, I'm going to show you guys what it is. I do already know it's in there. So I'm not gonna like, you know, pretend, but I do have everything so I can still show you how it comes. So when you get the plant, you get this huge thing. This huge freaking thing, which let me hide my address. You get this and it says Lunarly and it's really, Pretty big size, it goes from my head to my waist probably. So I'm pretty petite, so I guess that's not probably too big. But yeah, so pretty big. For me, I just like getting packages, so a big one was very exciting. <laughs> so I was like, okay, this is fun, this is fun. And first thing, like always, you get your card. And so it says everything about this is the flower moon. May is the month of the flower moon. New moon, May 11th, first quarter, May 19th, full moon, May 26th, last quarter, June 2nd. Something that I didn't notice before, but I'm noticing now. Let me get ready. <laughs> We're getting into it. Kind of furthering my point slash idea that this is less of a witchy kind of box and more of a self-care, which is like not a surprise at all. I guess I don't know why I'm saying that because it literally is like um, marketed as like something something self-care so I don't know why it like kind of surprised me but they don't say like the astrology sign so it doesn't say like new moon in Taurus May 11th or full moon in Sagittarius so like which is fine I'm just like that that's probably more so indicative that this is for people who are uh, less into like the witchy spirituality and more just maybe into the aesthetic or maybe more just into like the fluffy, and I don't mean that in a mean way or anything like a rude or anything. It's just more of like the like essential oils and like bath stuff rather than like, let's do witchcraft and talk to ghosts. You know what I mean? Like it's fine. Both are valid, just very different. So maybe that's, you know, something, but that's just something I noticed this time that I didn't really notice last time. Um, so it says when flowers reach full bloom, it's time to welcome the flower moon. Think of what will help you open up and blossom this month. Remember flowers don't pollinate themselves. This moon reminds us that in order to draw the right opportunities in, we have to put the right opportunities out. And an intention to inspire, I welcome connection as, a, as I journey towards my goal. Um, cute little thing, I think, maybe not, but this feels like the same design as last time. You guys heard my last video, what I thought of the designs. I'm not gonna further that because we already talked about that. And I'm not trying to make this like eight hours long, but you guys know. So first thing you get, cause in the box, when you open it, like you open it and it's like first half is like your, your plant. Oh, mister, please don't do that. That's gonna fall. Hey buddy, hey, get off that please. <laughs> don't do this, please do not. Hey. Yes, it tipped over, okay. So the first top half is your plant and it's in like a nice little card. I didn't keep the thing that it came in because it was just cardboard to protect it. And the bottom part is your um, box. So I don't know, just in case you guys were curious. So you do see the plant first. So that was the first thing I pulled out. And let me just show you what it looks like. Have it over here because Mr. was eating it. It's really pretty cute, you guys. I am a plant girl. I love plants, though I'm not very good at keeping them alive. Um, my Zach does all that. I just love their energy and how they look, and it's just beautiful. And I will read you what it says. It's not a very, and uh, I'm I'm not like very smart with plants and stuff. That's definitely not my, you know, niche or anything. I just really, really respect plants and love them. So this might be a common plant name, but. Um, it's called the Syngonium Golden. Uh, so I don't know, like I'm used to saying like, oh, snake plant or like, I don't know, aloe vera, stuff like that. So like, I'm never like, mm, that's a Syngonium Golden. Um, and it totally might be like a common plant. I don't know, doesn't matter. I thought this was so cute. He did come, I think he straightened out quite a bit. 
he was leaning, you guys. And like, it does say like, keep this upright. The box looked a little bit beat up and that's not at all on Lunarly or anything. I mean, it's gotta be super hard to ship plants like, oh, don't do this, are you okay? Um, it's gotta be hard to ship plants, but um, he was leaning quite this way. So I put him, you know, so that he might lean more towards the sun. Um, and it comes with all these little, I don't know, I'm probably sounding really dumb. You guys are like, come on, Luna, we all know what that is. I want to say it's packing uh, stuff to keep him upright maybe, but I don't truly know. And he's in a um, like plastic pot inside, though this does drain and it comes with a nice little draining dish that is in the box itself. Um, so I'm gonna need to like repot re him so that he can drain. But I thought that the pot was like pretty cool. I think I might paint it just cause I'm more into, I don't know. I mean, it's, it's good. It's a nice plain pot. And maybe they give it to you with the idea that you might paint it um, cause it's open for interpretation. I just like painting things and I thought that'd be fun. Um, but I mean, yeah, I was like super into this. I thought this was so cute. So I'll read you guys like kind of the specs and like what it tells you. So it gives you light requirements and it says, you know, he'll grow best with, with consistent bright sunny light um, in a window, east or west window is best. But then it says avoid direct sun. And I'm like, okay, if I put this in an east window, it will be getting direct sun. So I'm like, what do you want? I'm gonna need to further research that. So I don't know. Um, and then water requirements when the top two inches of soil are dry. Um, humidity preferences, optimum temperature, plant food, additional care. And it does say like, hey, this is like toxic. If you eat it, it might mess up your stomach, which is nice because I'm sure a lot of the Lunar Lee subscribers have kids or pets or whatever. So it's good to know that. Um, and I appreciated knowing that because my cat, Mister, this little monster back here, loves eating my plants. No, do not eat this. Do not eat this. Let go. Oh my God. He harasses my bamboo every day. But yeah, so I mean, I thought it, it shipped really well. It looks good. He definitely has, you know, come upright a lot better since um, he's been out of the box and seeing some sunlight. So I'm sure he's just even and out. But I just, ugh. I mean, what am I gonna say? What are you gonna do, Lunarly? You're gonna make me say something bad about a plant? No, literally I couldn't. There's no plant they could have sent me that I could say something bad about unless it was just like destroyed. Um, and even then I wouldn't put it on them. So yeah, what do you want, Lunarly? 10 out of 10, this is great. So then we get into the box, which you guys have seen, you know, same box from last time and everything. Um, so jumping right in, you do get four items um, besides your plant. Um, and so jumping in, I'm just gonna pull out things and show you. First thing is this little black velvet bag. When you open it up, it's a beautiful crystal, you guys. This is a sodalite gemstone. It says, sometimes called the poet's stone, sodalite helps you to find your truth. When you're having trouble expressing your thoughts, feelings, or needs, connecting with sodalite can help you break through the fear and discover your voice. Um, I love sodalite. This is such a beautiful stone and honestly, this like might be my favorite thing besides the plant in the box. Sorry to start with like the coolest thing, but I really, I don't know. I feel so connected to this stone. Um, kind of a funny story when I was unboxing this, I was having Zach, my husband, like read this off and I, I was like gonna guess. So I picked it out of the bag. I put it in my hand I didn't look at it. And I was trying to like um, remote view it and see what color it was and I guessed blue, but I was like, man, there's no way that this is like the flower moon box and they're gonna give me a blue stone. And then it was. I was like, dude, intuition, like stop doubting yourself. But I just felt very, very connected to this. Like it just feels so uh, good. Like, you know, I really felt connected to this. Um, and I think I do have a tumbled soda light, but having it rough, I really, really appreciate the, um, this and the last box they sent. The other one was a rough, um, oh, what was it? Peach Moonstone. And I like that they give us rough stones because I think oftentimes, um, People just like resort to the tumbled ones because they're like shiny and pretty and everything. But there is just something so grounding and so it just makes me feel so connected to earth when it's rough because it just feels so much more authentic, I guess. But um, I was super happy about this. I thought this was so cool. A, A plus. I love blue crystals. Like I'm a big fan um, and I was just really excited. So yeah, that was really good. The next thing is this Naturally Vain Serenity Soak Bath Tea. And this is the same brand they had last time. 
I was trying to look up like if they use smaller companies, like if they support small brands and whatnot. And this was a smaller brand um, and they used it in their last box. So that's kind of cool that they, you know, continue use with them. Um, and I haven't used this obviously. I am technically allergic to roses, but I'm still gonna use it. We'll just see what happens, it's fine, don't worry. Um, but yeah, I mean, I think this is just a good uh, bath thing. Again, it kind of fits into that like more aesthetic, like pretty stuff uh, that comes with like spirituality and uh, that kind of whole ordeal. It says, what's serenity? Soaking in this rose scented bath tea comes pretty close to the definition. Enjoy the healing infusion of Himalayan bath salts for muscle relaxation, a blend of kaolin and French red clay for soft skin, and rose botanicals for skin hydration. And then it gives you instructions, which I don't think I need to say. So yeah, I mean, I don't feel like I can really say much. I think this is cool. Like, I think I'll use this. Um, yeah, again, I'm just like, this can't be more than like $15. And I know the gemstone isn't worth more than like probably 15. The plant can't be that much. How are we getting up to $50? It doesn't, you know, you might ask the same question. I don't know how to even say this. It's a sponge. This is the next thing. Um, I like all these products a lot and I'm not trying to hate on them by any means. I'm just like, this doesn't add up. I don't think this adds up. It's fine. Anyway, this is, I'm gonna call it the cognac sponge. I don't think that's how you say that. This is, um, you know, just like a sponge that you can use. I'm pretty sure you can use it for skin, um, dry skin as like a scrub or I think you can probably use it to apply your body wash. Let me read what it says. It says, skin having a dull day. I love how they always start, nine out of 10 times they start with a question, which I love. Skin having a dull day, cleanse and brighten with the after spa cognac sponge made from naturally porous root vegetables and infused with turmeric. This brush provides gentle exfoliation while deep cleaning and leaving you with radiant skin. So I also think I'll be using this. I have a couple of things very similar to this and I do like it. Um, I like that like soft exfoliation. Um, so yeah, again, I'm just like, this can't be more than 15. Can't, I don't know. I truly don't know how much these things are. I like that they use turmeric and um, lots of like roots and natural things for this because I don't know, I just feel like as natural as we can get with our skincare, the better. And the last thing in the box is this really cute canvas tote. And it says new moon. I don't know if it says it. Yeah, it says new moon energy. And it has the cute little moon phases. And you know, I am not one to like buy canvas totes for myself because you know, I do feel like I end up just getting them somehow. But I do like having them because if I'm going on like a quick run to the store or you know, something that I don't like wanna pack my purse, I just wanna throw my stuff in somewhere. Um, these are also good for like when you're going grocery shopping, you can put your groceries in here and use it as like a reusable grocery bag. Um, you can also take it on like picnics. So it, they're just very like nice and versatile. So I like that. Um, it says new moon energy canvas tote. What kind of energy do you want to bring into the new moon? Our new moon energy canvas tote bag keeps life simple. Whether you use this tote to store your belongings or carry it with you on the go, our canvas tote bag serves as a reminder to let go and let it flow. So um, yeah, again, just very cute. I like it a lot. It's very pretty. Um, so let's talk. Let's talk now. I feel like I feel like we've looked at things. Let's chat. Final decision, because I told you guys I wasn't necessarily certain in my last video, and I would try it again for another month and tell you guys what I think. I do not think I will continue, and that's hard for me to say because I'm very, I don't like to give not good reviews. Here's my thing. I'm gonna be real with you guys. This is my thing. I personally do not feel like this is my niche. Um, and I hate comparing it to other boxes, but I do feel very happy with like my Goddess Provisions Witchy One box because uh, Witchy One's 25, Goddess Provisions is 33. And I think you get more items in your Goddess Provisions box than you do in this, and this is a $50 box. And so like, that's, that's kind of it for me. I'm like, the things that I get in the Goddess Provisions usually are very, very, um, I mean, not every box, I'm not every box I'm super into, but most of the time, um, they're very, very interesting. You know, they're divination tools. Um, 
you know, they're kind of teaching me something I didn't know, um, or getting me into, you know, it's just like everything like really feels very connected. This feels a lot more, um, like I said before, kind of fluffy and like bath stuff and, um, you know, whatnot. And I love bath stuff. I love taking ritual baths. Um, but I do like getting oracle cards or getting like a pendulum or, you know, um, things like that. I just think that's really cool. And so it's nothing against this box. Like I don't think, I think that I would not personally find this, um, to be a very like financially good decision for me. I just think with $50, I could get a plant and a lot of cool, you know, witchy things that fit my needs better. So I think maybe if you're more into like, um, more of the aesthetic and like the very spa, I'm getting lots of like spa vibes from this, um, box, which is really good. So if that's something you're into, then you might find this like worth the $50. And if you're maybe just like a little bit more fresh with your money, you can do that. But, um, for me, um, like senior in college, you know, I already got two subscription boxes. I'm like, listen, I don't think this is it for me. And that's fine. And I'm not hating on the box. Like I think it's super cool. And the sad thing is I think I really wanted to love it. Like I think I really genuinely, and that's probably what was happening in my last video. I was just like, man, I love the name. Like, and I think the name made me think it was going to be more um, moon ritual based. Like we're gonna give you things so that you can have a really, you know, witchy new moon. And like, here's, you know, I don't know, stuff. Like, um, I just, I guess I thought it would be more uh, like ritual based, I guess, rather than like, here are spa tools, which I have spa tools, so I don't really need any more. Um, so yeah, I do think I wanted to love it. I just don't think it was it for me, and that's totally fine. Um, if it, this is it for you, then that's great. Um, I'll leave the link to get it in the description box, and you definitely can. Um, but as for me, I think that closes the door on our Lunarly unboxing um, series. So what do you guys want to see next? I will totally tackle whatever box you've been eyeing. If there's something that you've been seeing and you're like, hey, kind of want to try this. Um, I do get the Goddess Provisions and Witchy ones, so I already got those if you want to see me unbox those. But I've been looking and there's like Tamed Wild, which I got one time a year or so ago. Um, there's like the bo the box of shadows, things like that. So if there's any witchy spiritual box you want me to try, let me know um, and I will do that because these are, these are really fun for me. I like these. So thank you guys so much for watching. Um, Patreon goal if you guys want to join me over there and get free tarot readings, free monthly rituals, um, exclusive content, bonus episodes, monthly Q&A with me live. You can ask me anything. Um, tons of stuff like that. You can join me on my Patreon at, you know, different tiers. I have different tiers with different, you know, things that you get. So join me over there if you want. Goal is 11 by the end of May. So um, let's see it. Let's see what happens. Let's see if we can do it. Um, if not, cool too. Love you anyways. Feel free to subscribe, like, share this video. You know, have a good time. And I, yeah, that's, that's it. That's all I have for you guys. I love you guys so much and I will see you guys in my next video. Bye. It has light, water, and hue. It has, which, you know, says uh, it'll have best time. <laughs> A blend of cowlin? Is that how you say that? Whew. A blend of kaolin and fresh French. Ooh, I'm gonna scream. A blend of kaolin. Fuck. Oh. It's like that's. I I really do like that they use um turmeric and like natural. Did I say turmeric? Oh my god. Did you say 